Hi there, when I made the uh, little hoglet engine, I purchased the uh, carburettor from a model shop. Uh, but I've subsequently read somewhere that somebody made the Jerry Howell 2 jet carburettor and fitted that to a hoglet and it uh, works pretty well. Now, bearing in mind that my next project is going to be the Jerry Howell V Twin, um, that uses two carburettors. So I thought it might be uh, an idea to actually make three carburettors. So I'll be making two for the Jerry Howell V Twin and one for the Hoglet V Twin. And in this video, I'll be machining the bodies. So these drawings are available on the uh, Jerry Howell website and if you're uh, going to buy the plans for the uh, Jerry Howell V Twin um, these are included um, but you can also buy them separately and uh, this um, sort of drawing shows the carburettor being twice the actual size. Now I found the uh, drawings to be quite complicated to interpret um, probably due to my sort of lack of experience really um, so to, to help me I've printed off these uh, two pictures of the actual carburettor I'm going to try and make uh, that's the left hand view and this is the right hand view and uh, I'm going to machine it out of this piece of uh, aluminium so what I'm going to do first of all is uh, drill through there and ream I think it's a quarter of an inch and having done that I'll then drill and ream through this side here uh, five sixteenths of an inch Well that was a brand new drill bit and uh, the quality is absolutely dire. Uh, so I'm going to have a go at uh, fixing it with this drill doctor. That's better. So now I need to cut a forty five degree angle on the corner. looking pretty close So now it's a matter of drilling with this eighth of an inch drill bit. It suggests reaming, but I'm not going to ream it. To a depth of point uh, 312 of an inch. And now I need to drill right through with a uh, 40 thou drill bit, but I'll do that off camera. So now there's a requirement to drill a hole from round about here 
into the fuel inlet. Now, um, this position from there to there is 5, uh, 0.57 of an inch, but there's no distance given for this here. So what I'm doing is I'm eyeballing it. So I reckon I need to start drilling there. So I need to drill through with, um, well it says a 43 thou drill bit, I've not got one of those. I've got a 40 thou, so I'll drill right through until I get into that uh, fuel inlet. And then I need to um, drill to a depth of uh, 0.2 of an inch and tap it 256. Well that looks pretty close, so what I'll do is I'll uh, get a fine centre drill and just touch it and then I'll drill through with that 40 thou drill bit uh, down into the fuel intake. Darren, it's broken. Well, that broken drill bit totally trashed the part, so um, I've decided to uh, make another one. And uh, in fact, made two more. So, one for the hoglet and uh, two for the jerry howl. So, I've uh, changed the approach on drilling this hole. It's slightly offset and uh, it needs to be an eighth of an inch wide. Uh, by uh, 0.312 deep. Once that's been done, uh, it needs to be drilled right through with a, a 40 thou drill bit. But I'm going to use a, a one millimeter drill bit. But to stop me from trashing it this time, I had a look on the internet, and apparently, for fine drilling, you need something like that. So that gives you the ability to sort of feel it, as opposed to trying to drill on the milling machine. It's uh, it's just too coarser action. So I've also splashed out on some dormer drill bits. That was a bit scary. So this is uh, the, the point in time where um, that fine drill broke when I was trying to drill through uh, with a 43 thou or 40 thou drill bit um, right through and into the uh, fuel inlet. So what I've decided to do this time is first of all I'm going to drill with this 70 thou drill bit to a depth of uh, 200 thou, 0.2 of an inch. Because uh, that will be later um, tapped to be uh, 2B56 UNC. I think this will just take um, a bolt later on just to sort of seal it off. 
So this is a 1.1 millimeter drill bit, which is uh, fairly close to 43 thou. I mean that took some time. And just tap in uh, 2B56 UNC. Well they seem to have turned out okay. So uh, what I need to do now is drill and ream a hole in that position uh, 5 30 seconds of an inch and to go through to a depth of half an inch which is just above this hole that I've just drilled. Once I get to half an inch then I need to drill right through into the other hole using a, a 43 thou drill bit or 1.1 millimeter drill bit. And once I've done that I'll uh, drill and tap 2B56 right through. So this is crucial I don't go beyond um, half an inch so I've just put this uh, uh, six thou uh, piece of sheet there so I can zero the uh, DRO on that I've just realised that my uh, 530 seconds reamer is a hand reamer so it's got a taper on it so that's no good so I've just drilled through with a 530 seconds drill bit and now what I'm going to do is to uh, drill the remaining bit of the hole with this uh, 43 thou drill bit or 1.1 millimetre one Well that's a relief, it found the other hole. Well I ended up uh, drilling and tapping some holes off camera and uh, I, th I think I've done all the drilling and tapping and what have you. So what I need to do now is to do some of this machining of the outside edges. And uh, as you can see here this right hand view some of this material needs to go and on this left hand view this needs to be machined and I think underneath as well. So um, I'll do the machining, um, a mixture of on and off camera. So there's a requirement to make a boss on this end. So I just put this piece of rod in and uh, centered on that. It's pretty close. So now there's a requirement to mill some of these outside edges. Um, I don't think the shape is that critical. Uh, but I'll try and do it as close to the join as possible. So this section needs to be milled out um, 175 thou wide uh, to a depth of 130 thou. So to mill out this top section I've just um, put it on a rotary table um, with the uh, mandrel I've made in the past uh, just hold apart and uh, 
I don't think the actual pattern is uh, that critical really. Um, need to go to a depth of I think 190 thou. So uh, the purpose of the rotary table is um, just to be able to change the angles really. So uh, first I'll make the first cut like that up to that point and uh, keep on going down to 190 and then I'll mill out the rest and keep on doing that until I get the pattern I'm after. Well, they seem to turn out pretty well. This is the left hand view. This is the right hand view. Happy with those. Well, that was an interesting little exercise and uh, quite challenging in places. Uh, trying to drill uh, a 43 thou hole to join up with another 43 thou, 43 thou hole at right angles um, <laughs> was quite difficult, but I managed to get all three uh, carburetor bodies uh, correct, so I'm quite happy with that. And. Uh, this little tool was a godsend. Um, never used one before, but I'd have really struggled without without that. In fact, I don't think I could have done it without that. And uh, I also found that uh, printing off these pictures really helped me interpret uh, the Jerry Howell drawings. I mean, Jerry Howell drawings are, are really, really good. Um, but my lack of experience, I, I sometimes find it quite difficult to uh, to fully understand them without you know, a 3D drawing or 3D picture. Um, so that really helped me. Um, so uh, I think my next video will be making some of the components to uh, fit inside the body or outside the body. Um, but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you later.